We are on our way to mom's house. It's the first time for the kids to go out. Yay! Yay! Sige Gab! Sige Gab! Sige! Yan! Ang tawag dyan, terrible kiss. Okay ba yun? Gab! Isabella, what did you say? Welcome to my humble abode. Naku, ang gulo-gulo pa kasi nag-aano kami dito. Nag-aayos kami for the, para sa party ng mga apo ko for tomorrow. So, naku, nag-i-arrange kami ng mga furniture. Kaya para kami naglipat. So, let me tour you around, ha? So, this is the sala na medyo magulo-gulo siya ngayon. Okay, that would be the... That would be the parang clean kitchen slash dining, what have you. Uh -oh. Tapos, this is ano, ito yung room. Kita ko ang gulo ah. Ito yung uh, naging last room ni Marielle when she was still living here. Ay, okay ba? <laughs> Sobrang gulo. This is the room. Sorry, sila lahat na yung ilaw. Because it's just me and my dog. Because I'm here now. I I I stay here with my fur baby. So this is her room before. Yeah, that would be her room before. This is her room before. Tapos yan. Yeah. And then this would be actually naging room niya rin to when she was in high school. Because naging room niya na she was in no way, ha? Wait, wait lang. Nandito yung fur baby ko. Okay, ang hawak naman ng ano. Okay? Hi, baby girl! Magulo din, sabi ko. This is the way we are now. This used to be her room. When she was in high school. Yeah. Alright, baby girl. Alright. And then, this would be yung room nila na ate niya when they were really very little pa na ano na ako sobrang gulo din na ano na ngayon naging groom to ng apo ko my first apo before kaya meron pa siyang mga parang ship ship treasure island kind of uh, ano pa painting dahil groom niya to dapat ng apo ko si Javi who is in the states now so naging ano na lang siya parang bodega Yes. Actually, hindi ko, hindi ko alam kung na-enjoy ko yung youth ko kasi I had a different kind of life eh. I never had a regular life as a teenager kasi I had kids nga nung, nung bata ako. And then, ang dami ko rin, syempre marami din maganda kasi yung mga experiences ko, yung mga experiences ko na never rin na ma-experience ng ordinary na tao, na-experience ko. So, very complicated youth. Kasi si Marielle is, well, obviously very close to her lolo, di ba? Pero there was one time I came back here when I was, I'd live in Japan. I'd visit them here. Tamang-tama, they got sick, both of them, sila ng, sisters, ng sister niya. So, she got sick and then she wouldn't be that clingy or sweet or what have you. Pero sabi niya sa akin one time, sabi niya, Mom, pwede mo ba akong tabihan? Tabihan mo naman ako. So, parang, di ba? Kasi usually it would be yung sister niya yung ganun eh. 
So, nagulat ako. Mas close ako talaga dun sa ate niya nung maliliit sila. Kasi mas, yung ate niya kasi showy, exp- nag-expression ng sweet siya, ganyan. Si Maria, nga, like I said, ano yan, para siyang sa lolo yan nakadikit eh, diba? You'll never know pala. Yung as yung, nung naging mom siya, I saw a different Mariel eh. Parang naging i- i- iba, nag-iba siya. Sobrang iba. Sobrang na-appreciate ko siya ng gusto. Now, I can say na, I don't wanna say favorite, pero I would miss, like, always, like, talking to her, like, you know, to doing whatever, is seeing, asking her what she's doing, what she's up to, ganyan. She's a giver. She's a giver talaga. Talagang sobrang giver siya. At namana niya sa akin yun, <laughs> na sana, na sana, na buti naman ngayon kasi yung ate naman niya, yun naman ang inaano siya, na tinutulungan, tinuturuan naman siya na oh, mag, mag-ingat ka sa mga, sa finances mo, sa mga ganyan mo, nang gano'n. Good naman kasi ako, yun naman ang kulang ko. Kaya mabuti nandun yung ate niya. <laughs> Magagalit sila sa akin kasi alam nila palagi ko sinasabi na iba yung original, di ba? Pero, <laughs> ah, pero I can say magaganda ang mga anak ko. Mas magaganda ang mga anak ko sa akin. Pero mas magaganda ang mga apo ko <laughs> kaysa sa kanila. <laughs> sa aming lahat. Sobrang excited talaga kasi yun, kumbaga, sobrang dream ko na makapasyal dito yung mga kids. Sobrang excited na hindi ko alam kung I'm sure mag enjoy naman yung mga bata kasi I, I know naman yung mga apo ko eh lalo na si Isabella ano si Ga, si Gabzi ang talagang si Gabriela ang talagang hindi ko pa alam kasi mag parang nagwo-warm up pa lang sa akin si Isabel, si Gabriela eh. So it's been really nice that um, we're here in mom's house 
um, the kids were so happy. Kita kita ko that mom is most happy because finally the kids were able to come here and um, I appreciate yung nakikipaglaro siya sa kanila. Tapos um, nag-remake sila ng memories. Kasi ba diba, it's really about giving. And when you give something, hindi naman dapat um, material things lang lagi. Time is the most precious thing that you can give. And lalo na sa mga magulang natin, grandparents natin, yun yung mga bagay na na importante sa panahon ngayon na ibigay rin natin no matter how busy we are, no matter our differences, di ba? Na kahit paano, let's make time. Yun yung mga realizations ko today and I feel na na sobra siyang naghanda, nilabas niya yung mga nice plates niya, nag Inayos niya yung stable setting. Lahat. Okay. It's Yeah. Oh, Nyanya also has some things for you to paint. Do you want to paint? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mommy Marielle Padilla. Hello everyone. Today is a very personal vlog because I feel that Christmas is really all about kids. It's all about family time. And during this holiday season, dapat buo ang pamilya as much as possible. A lot of people, they always ask me, how come your mom is not here? There are really times that your family, you don't always see eye to eye. There are things that you guys disagree on and there are things na hindi lang kayo pare-parehas na opinions and ang thoughts and that's okay, it's normal. Ganun lang talaga yun. And our family is no different so there are times na hindi kami masyado nag-uusap, hindi kami masyado nakikita, may mga times na nagtatampuhan din kami and ganun lang talaga yun, it's normal. Pero at the end of the day, pamilya pa rin kami. Diba? Yung love pa rin na nananalo, yung love sa isa't isa, never yun nawawala. Kahit na, for example, hindi kami mag-usap ng 2 years, 5 years, 1 year, ganyan, few months, ganyan, few days, yung love, parehas pa rin yun. Yun naman ang mahalaga. And this holiday season, I want my kids to be able to spend time with my mom. And it's my mom's dream na makapunta yung mga apo niya 
to visit her here in her house. And ano ba naman yung pagbigyan natin yung napakababaw na dream niya na pangarap niya, di ba? So, di ba? Ano ba naman yung pagbigyan natin siya? So today, for the very first time, I brought my kids to the house where I spent most of my life in. I was here until I think I was about 23 years old. I spent a lot of my life here. A whole chunk of it, I grew up here. And it's time for my kids to to visit. And I was really happy because they enjoyed it right away. They felt at home. Um, hindi sila na ila, hindi sila na bahay, na, na natuwa sila with all the preparations that my mom did. Na sobra silang uh, natuwa. My, my mom really has an eye for good things. So she likes to decorate the place. Definitely, mas maganda siya ngayon than when we were living here kasi inayos ni mom ng maganda. It's a good time for for the family to be together and seeing my mom so happy, syempre that also makes me happy. And hindi lang ako because I have a girl, si Annalyn. Si Annalyn has been with me for a very long time. Siya yung pinakamatagal among all my staff. Siya yung pinakamatagal with me. And she hasn't seen her kids for mga two years na din. So, I did a little surprise. Pinaswap ko yung mga kids niya. Pina, ay kaming lahat din, nag-swap talaga before coming here. Kasi pati si mom, nag-quarantine pa siya ng five days. Siya at saka yung staff niya nag-quarantine just so that ma, ma, to, be, to be sure na safe yung mga kids. Nung no, no, nakita sila, it was priceless. Sobrang priceless yung expression sa face nila. And nakakatuwa na na alam ko buo na yung Pasko ni Annalyn kasi nakita niya na yung family niya and I know then na buo na rin yung Pasko ng mommy ko dahil natupad na yung pangarap niya na makasama niya yung mga apo niya dito I really feel that Christmas should be about family and I hope that this Christmas season you get to spend your Christmas with your families as well I'll see you again in my next vlog, thank you so much for watching, bye!